Well, I, I guess I'm an ecologist, um, and I have been working in the area of uh, elephant ecology, uh, more broadly wildlife ecology, but more specifically elephant ecology, also forest ecology and uh, climate change. Well, I suppose uh, that the most uh, sophisticated technology that I have used so far is the use of uh, GPS transmitters mm -hmm. for tracking the movement of elephants across uh, across landscapes. And uh, using that uh, to understand uh, the space requirement of elephants, as well as uh, looking at the potential of uh, GPS technology as an early warning system for elephants that are crop breeding, uh, that come into conflict with people. I think one of the technologies that I would like to see developed uh, is a cost-effective technology that will prevent the elephants from coming out of forest areas into you know, agricultural uh, lands and uh, settlements on swan because that's where a lot of the conflicts take place. You know, presently electric fences are being used to keep elephants inside forests, but somehow elephants are so such intelligent creatures that they manage to overcome these fences quite easily in many cases. So, you know, technologies, if we can develop uh, to put up these barriers, you know, but they should be cost effective and uh, they should be, you know, effective, uh, be, be able to keep intelligent animals inside the forest and not let them cross these barriers. I think some of the challenges really lie in the, the cost of developing technologies and, uh, for instance, uh, uh, and 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 the period of the, the you know and making sure that these are devices that last for a quite a long time and they can be actually used on a large scale you know for instance we can develop technologies that let's say an acoustic device that keeps elephants away you know when you play a particular type of sound but the problem is that uh, you know is it possible to adopt this technology and use it over very very large areas because you know elephants uh, you know, can come out into agricultural land, you know, over hundreds and hundreds of kilometers, you know, in, in given landscapes. So the really the, the challenge is to uh, ensure that um, we are able to develop technologies that are applicable over large spatial scales to solve conservation issues.